Okay, ajá, uh -huh. show me. Modélame tu ropa. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. And if you guys click this video, I'm sure you've seen the title by now that, you know, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks how to survive breastfeeding and get through it in order to be able to establish hopefully a healthy relationship with it. And at the end of this video, I will be hosting a, a giveaway with Pink Blush. We will be giving away a $50 gift card. There is a sale going on right now. I will put the detail down below. So check out the details down below. What you have to do in order to win. If you just want to see like the details of the items that I showed, they will also be listed down below. If you guys are interested in hearing these tips and stuff that I have for breastfeeding, then keep on watching. Excuse me if you hear any background noise. Currently my baby's sleeping and she has the white noise on and my other two year old is right here playing so if you hear things in the background that is why. So I have found that you know having gone through this two times around now my baby is when I upload this video my baby will be three months going into four months but um yeah so I have noticed that the first thing that I have to do in order to hopefully succeed in breastfeeding is that I I have to mentally take out the idea that I'm going to supplement. That is no kind of formula. I'm not going to give bottle yet. Nothing like that. It's just going to strictly be me, my breast, and my baby. And that's it. So that's the first rule in order, I think, to succeed in breastfeeding and establish a good relationship with it and by doing so you know you're gonna make your body produce more because you know I feel that a lot of people don't know and that they and then sometimes they think that they're just not producing a lot of milk and sometimes that can be the case maybe for health reasons or you know something with your anatomy I don't know but the more you put your baby on your boob the more you're gonna produce milk the more there's gonna be a demand for it so you know, it is really difficult sometimes in the beginning and you can think like my baby's not getting enough food, she's still hungry, and you can be very tempted to supplement and use formula because, you know, you're like, oh no, my baby. But in reality, they say that when a baby is born, their stomach is so tiny. I forgot, it's like, I forgot what size they said it was, like the size of a coin or something. So it really doesn't require a whole lot. So don't worry, like the colostrum that your body is giving is going to be enough, more than enough for them. It's super important, tip number two, is to keep offering it as much as possible. Like any time that they're awake, offer it to them because in those first two weeks, babies are sleeping a lot. Make sure that every time that the baby is awake, that you are offering your breast to them, even if they are really lazy or sleepy you just have to keep trying keep trying keep trying because like I said the more demand there is for it the more your body's gonna produce because you know that's the signal to the body to make more so the more your baby is sucking the more that your baby is drinking the more that your body's gonna like oh, okay I need to produce more I need to make more milk I need to make more milk so you know there won't be issues later on down the road with having a low milk supply and whatnot because you know your body's getting into this routine where it knows that it needs to refill, refill in order to beat your baby's needs. The third tip I would say also to drink a whole lot of water. Make sure that right now, right off, you know, of giving birth, you're not trying to start a diet. You need to be eating well. You need to be, you know, eating oatmeal because oatmeal really helps to produce milk. It, you know, I've, I've read that a lot of times women have noticed that when they do drink I mean eat oatmeal they do see a positive effect on their milk supply also something I saw on Pinterest that I tried out was the body armor drink and I really enjoyed drinking that on days when I felt like maybe I was a little bit lower or you know if I was just worried for some reason and I felt like you know I wasn't gonna produce enough I would drink it um, definitely if you want to establish a good milk supply and whatnot, it is not the time to be trying to get on a diet and 
you know, count your calories and whatnot. Like, just eat, eat good, eat healthy stuff, eat a lot of it, and, you know, just worry about you and baby at the moment. Don't try to rush into losing weight or whatever. Also, you know, number four is obviously, like this could be the number one, of course, is establishing a good latch. Yeah, make sure that your baby is latching correctly. I know that all the hospitals, they always offer lactation specialists and all these, un all these wonderful things to help you establish that good latch with your baby because that's one of the most important things. Because if you don't establish a good latch, you're more likely to fail because you're going to have really sore nipples, they're going to crack, they're going to bleed, it's going to hurt every time, and your baby is not going to be feeding as productively as they could. So make sure that your baby is latching. There's so many different positions, you know, know there's like the cradle, like the football hold, um, all these things. And once you really master it, it is so much easier to do things. I can feed my baby laying down, I can feed my baby as I walk, I can feed her sitting down, I can feed her, you know, like, even if I, I have literally fed her walking around the store before. Of course, you know, I like to cover myself and I, I like to use the little things that you just put over and cover yourself. There's so many different kinds on the market these days that you can use, so... You know, I'm a really busy person. We're always out. We're always at church, restaurants, we're always at the store, families, houses. So I don't like to just be all there and letting everything out. So I always have to, you know, have a cover on me. But, you know, like, as you get good at this, you can use a blanket, anything that's on hand, you learn how to do it. But as soon as you establish a good latch, then you're golden. And when my daughter, my recent daughter was born, she had, they said, a tongue tie. And even they said that maybe even on her, her teeth up here too was kind of like, you know. And I haven't, had any, I haven't had any issue. I was, you know, I told myself I wasn't going to let that stop me from breastfeeding her. And it didn't. She established a good latch, thank God. I just kept trying and trying. I kept assisting her as much as I had to until she finally got on her own. So those are just my four tips for you guys. There's so many other things and if you guys want to know like breastfeeding 101, you guys have, want to have a lot more questions, drop them down below. Honestly, I do take pride in breastfeeding and I will recommend it to anybody. I know that it's not for everybody and some people really can't and all that, but for all those who really do want to try and want to give it the best chance, I am happy to make another video with a lot more information. But those are just the four quick tips, it, you know, to help you guys establish a good relationship and set yourself up for success. Yeah, let's move on to the giveaway. All you really have to do is go follow my Instagram account at janeherrera94. I will link everything down below. And follow at Pink Blush Maternity on Instagram. And of course, don't forget to be subscribed to my channel and turn on your bell notification to remind you every time when I post a video. So I will be naming the winner on December 16th. Please leave your Instagram handle in the comments below so I can DM you and check back on December 16th in this video. Also, Pink Blush's Cyber Monday sale is still going on. It ends on December 4th, so make sure that you head over there and try to snag any good deal that you can find because they have really good sales going on right now until like 70% off, I believe. I really do enjoy working with this company. They have really good quality clothes, and it's not only for maternity, but also after that. So Pink Blush was kind enough to send me these two items, and they sent me this really cute sweater. It's a sweater dress. And it's really nice and oversized. It has a hoodie. It actually doesn't have drawstrings, which I kind of like because somehow those always get lost or pulled out. And it has pockets. So it's a really nice, cozy, warm sweater. It's really, really thick and really good quality. It feels like really good quality. So I'm definitely excited to wear this. 
I will link this down below if you guys are interested in seeing exactly which sweater it is. I love this sweater that they sent me. It's super cute. It's a black turtleneck knit sweater. I will be showing you guys how this looks on. And I really love it because, once again, it's really nice quality, really thick. It's actually going to keep you warm. I mean, I could even see myself almost getting hot in this because it is thick. But definitely for those chillier nights and days where you just want to have a nice sweater to keep you warm, you know, if you're going to go on a trip to a cold state. I live in California, so it doesn't get that cold, but definitely, you know, there are those days that are in the 60s, 50s, and definitely those nights where they are definitely cold that these sweaters would come in handy in. But yeah. Um, don't forget to check out their website once again, follow them on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, and just leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope that this video was helpful, and have a very blessed day.